The Masuo, Chinese, Mosuo Pinyin, Masuo, also spelled Moso or Musuo, often called the Na among themselves, are a small ethnic group living in Yunnan and Sichuan provinces in China, close to the border with Tibet. Consisting of a population of approximately 40,000, many of them live in the Yangning region, around Lugu Lake, in Labay, in Muli, and in Yanyuan, located high in the Himalayas, 27 degrees 42 minutes 35.30 seconds north 100 degrees 47 minutes 4.04 seconds east. Although the Masuo are culturally distinct from the Naki, Nashi, the Chinese government places them as members of the Naki minority. The Naki are about 320,000 people, spread throughout different provinces in China. Their culture has been documented by indigenous scholars Lamu Gatusa, Latami Dashi, Yang Lifen and Hime. Media accounts of Masuo culture tend to highlight exotic sexuality, Zuhun, which many Chinese interpret as free love, matriarchy, a land where women rule, and primitivity, a society that has not evolved. Introduction The Masuo are often referred to as China's last matrilineal society. The Masuo themselves may also often use the description matriarchal, which they believe increases interest in their culture and thus attracts tourism. However, the terms matrilineal and matriarchal do not reflect the full complexity of their social organization. In fact, it is not easy to categorize Masuo culture within traditional Western definitions. They have aspects of a matriarchal culture, women are often the head of the house, inheritance is through the female line, and women make business decisions. However, unlike a matriarchy, the political power tends to be in the hands of males. Nevertheless, anthropologists like Peggy Reeves Sanday determine societies like Masuo are in fact matriarchies. Further, scholars have argued that while matrilineal arrangements are the normative pattern, domestic arrangements still vary geographically and by family circumstance. Lifestyle Daily life Masuo culture is primarily agrarian, with work based on farming tasks such as raising livestock, yak, water buffalo, sheep, goats, poultry, and growing crops, including grains and potatoes. The people are largely self-sufficient in diet, raising enough for their daily needs. Meat is an important part of their diet and, since they lack refrigeration, is preserved through salting or smoking. The Masuo are renowned for their preserved pork, which may be kept for 10 years or more. They produce a local alcoholic beverage made from grain, called sulima, which is similar to strong wine. Sulima is drunk regularly and usually offered to guests and at ceremonies and festivals, local economies tend to be barter-based. However, increased interaction with the outside world brings greater use of a cash-based trade system. Average incomes are low, $150 minus $200 per year, causing financial restrictions when cash is needed for activities such as education or travel. Electricity has been introduced in most Masuo communities, but some villages still lack electric power. Masuo homes consist of four rectangular structures arranged in a square, around a central courtyard. The first floor houses livestock, including water buffalo, horses, geese, and poultry. The main cooking, eating and visiting areas are also on the first floor. The second floor is commonly used for storage and for the bedrooms. Role of Women as soon as a Masuo girl becomes old enough, she learns the tasks that she will perform for the rest of her life. Masuo women do all the housework, including cleaning, tending the fire, cooking, gathering firewood, feeding the livestock, and spinning and weaving. In the past, due to isolation, Masuo women produced all their own household goods. Today, due to increased trade with surrounding villages and cities, it is easier to obtain goods. Nevertheless, some Masuo women, especially those of older generations, know how to use looms to produce cloth goods. Role of men According to some, men have no responsibility in Masuo society. They have no jobs, rest all day, and conserve their strength for nighttime visits. However, Masuo men do have roles in their society. 
They help to bring up the children of their sisters and female cousins, build houses and are in charge of livestock and fishing, which they learn from their uncles and older male family members as soon as they are old enough. Men deal with the slaughter of livestock, in which women never participate. Slaughtered pigs, in particular, are kept whole and stored in a dry, airy place that keeps them edible for up to 10 years. This is especially helpful when harsh winters make food scarce. Matrilineality Masuo families tend to trace their lineage through the female side of the family. Occasionally, in fact, they may not know who the father of a child is, which does not carry stigma as in many other societies. Children belong to and reside within their mother's household and have access to its land and resources. Matriarch The matriarch, Ami, or elder female, in Chinese, is the head of the house. The Ami has absolute power, she decides the fate of all those living under her roof. In walking marriages, Masua women are responsible for much of the work done around the house and financial decisions. The matriarch also manages the money and jobs of each family member. When the Ami wishes to pass her duties on to the next generation, she will give this female successor the keys to the household storage, signifying the passing on of property rights and responsibility. History an important historical fact often missed in studies of the Masuo was that their social organization has traditionally been feudal, with a small nobility controlling a larger peasant population. The Masuo nobility practiced a parallel line of descent that encouraged cohabitation, usually within the nobility, in which the father passed his social status to his sons, while the women passed their status to their daughters. Thus, if a Masuo commoner female married a male serf, her daughter would be another commoner, while her son would have serf status. Kai 2001, has theorized that the matriarchal system of the Masuo lower classes was enforced by the nobility to neutralize threats to their power. Since leadership was inherited through the male family line, potential threats to leadership from the peasant class were eliminated by tracing the lineage of the latter through the female line. Thus, depicting Masuo culture as an idealized matriarchal. Culture with more freedom than patriarchal societies and with special rights for women, are unfounded. In actuality, the Masuo peasant class has historically been subjugated and sometimes treated as little better than slaves. Contrary to this theory, Chuan Kong Shi argued that matrilineality and walking marriage ties is a primary institution of family, sex and reproduction, and marriage is secondary. As she argues, marriage, as different from Taizas, was introduced into Masuo society through contact with other ethnic groups during the Yuan and Qing Empire building process. Adoption If there are no offspring of one sex, it is common for a child from another family to join an adoptive household. Such a child might come from a large family, or one too small to continue. Children raised in this sense are genealogically linked to their new households. They are treated as equal family members. In some instances, adopted females become the matriarchs of their adoptive families. Walking marriages One of the best known aspects of Masuo culture is its practice of walking marriage, Zhou Hun in Chinese, although this practice remains poorly understood. Walking marriages are the most prominent form of marriage in Masuo culture, however, it is not unheard of for women in Masuo culture to marry outside of their culture, therefore participating in marriages other than walking marriages. In a walking marriage, both partners live under the roof of their extended family during the day, however, at night it is common for the man to visit and stay at the women's house, if given permission, until sunrise. Therefore, they do not technically live in the same household, but they are free to visit when granted permission. Children of parents in a walking marriage are not raised by their father. The brothers of the mother maternal uncles in the marriage take on the responsibilities of the father since the father isn't typically around during the daytime. Due to the separation of the father and mother, it is crucial for the uncles to play a large role in the development of the child. She 2010 offers the most sophisticated anthropological account of Masuo practices of sexual union. 
All ongoing sexual relationships in Masuo culture are called walking marriages. These bonds are based on mutual affection. When a Masuo woman or man expresses interest in a potential partner, it is the woman who may give the man permission to visit her. These visits are usually kept secret, with the man visiting the woman's house after dark, spending the night, and returning to his own home in the morning. After the birth of the child, the man has no moral, cultural, or legal obligation to take care of the child. However, the child will be raised with adequate care and attention. The overwhelming support from the woman's extended family, allows both the man and woman to engage in sexual relations with whomever they please. General practice The Masuo have large extended families, and several generations great grandparents, grandparents, parents, children, grandchildren, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, etc. live together in the same house. Everyone lives in communal quarters, and there are no private bedrooms or living areas, except for women between certain ages. See the section on coming of age below who may have their own private rooms while a pairing may be long term the man never lives with the woman's family or vice versa masuo men and women continue to live with and be responsible to their respective families the couple do not share property the father usually has little responsibility for his offspring However, this does not mean that men can wipe their hands free of responsibilities and spend every night participating in shenanigans. After work, they are obligated to go home and help raise their nieces and nephews. The children rely on the collective effort of the extended family as a substitute for the care and affection of the biological father. A father may indicate an interest in the upbringing of his children by bringing gifts to the mother's family. This gives him status within the mother's family, while not actually making him part of the family. Matrilineal society Unlike other cultures, women in the Masuo society dominate the household and family. They are responsible for housework, agricultural duties, and taking care of children. In a walking marriage, the ancestral line is most important on the wife side of the family and the children of the couple reside and belong to the wife's family household. Considering women are responsible for most domestic jobs, they have a larger role in the walking marriage and are viewed with more respect and importance in this society. Husbands in walking marriages have a much less involved role than wives. The husbands in these relationships are generally the figures who are in charge of all religious and political decisions for the family. Regarding the family responsibilities, the father or husband in the family does not have nearly as many responsibilities regarding the family as the wife does. In fact, the male relatives of the mother's side of the family, such as uncles and cousins, are generally the father figure, to the husband's children. The mother's brothers occupy the central role in the household. Their roles include disciplining children, caring for them, and supporting the children financially. Since the husband and wife live with their separate immediate families, they help take care of the family's children and issues regarding their household. Even though fathers are involved in their sister's children's lives, they are not necessarily involved in their own children's life. In walking marriages, the involvement of a father in his child life is optional. If a father decides to be involved in the upbringing of his own biological child, he can bring gifts and help with work around the woman's household. This relationship can be performed regardless if the woman and man are still in the walking marriage and it gives the man a type of official status among the family without being fully involved. Advantages to a walking marriage other than the child receiving exceptional care and attention from the extended family, there are many inconspicuous advantages for participating in a walking marriage. For example, divorce is never an issue because the man and woman are not legally bound together, thus sharing very few of the same responsibilities. There are also never any disputes over who owns custody of the child since the child belongs to the mother's extended family and takes the mother. S last name. In the case of a parent's death, the child still has a prodigious amount of care and affection from the extended family. 
Myths and controversies Outsiders often believe the following myths. Masuo women are promiscuous. While it is possible for a Masuo woman to change partners as often as she likes, few Masuo women have more than one partner at a time. Anthropologists call this system serial monogamy. Most Masuo form long term relationships and do not change partners frequently. Some of these pairings may even last a lifetime. But, in other anthropologists' views, it is a more recent change, in the face of political campaigns and cultural integration with the Han Chinese, and previous generations often continued with multiple partners even after a child was born. Some older Na report having upwards of 30, 40, even 50 partners throughout their lifetime, and despite these changes, notions of exclusivity are not entrenched, and the Na language has no word for jealousy. Fathers of children are commonly not known. The large majority of women know their children's fathers, it is actually a source of embarrassment if a mother cannot identify a child's father. But, unlike many cultures which castigate mothers and children without clear paternity, not children induce no such censure. Quote dot, the father of a child born from a walking marriage will not see his child during the day, but rather at night time. The father doesn't play as large a role in the development of the child. Quote, at a child's birth, the father, his mother and sisters come to celebrate, and bring gifts. On New Year's Day, a child visits the father to pay respect to him and his household. A father also participates in the coming-of-age ceremony. Though he does not have an everyday role, the father is nevertheless an important partner. Customs Coming-of-age the coming-of-age ceremony, which occurs at the age of 13, is one of the most important events in a Masuo child's life. Before this ceremony, Masuo children all dress the same and are restricted from certain aspects of Masuo life, particularly those that involve religious rites. Also, a child who dies before this ceremony does not receive the traditional funeral. Once they come of age, girls are given their skirts, and boys are given their trousers, thus, it is called the skirt ceremony for girls, and the trouser ceremony. For boys, after coming of age, Masuo females can get their own private bedroom, called a flowering room, and, once past puberty, can begin to invite partners for walking marriages. Heart This is the center of the household. It combines the worship of nature, ancestors, and spirits. Behind the hearth is a slab of stone called Guozhuang in Chinese, and an ancestral altar where Masuo household members leave a food offering. They do this before each meal, even when having tea. Funeral Death is the domain of men, who make all funeral arrangements. It is the only time men prepare food for family and guests. Usually, every family in the village will send at least one male to help with the preparations. Dabas and Lamas are invited to recite prayers for the deceased. Masuo believe that if a spirit does not have assistance of a Daba, it will be lost. Without Lamas, a spirit will not be able to attain reincarnation. Caskets are small and square, with the deceased's body placed in the fetal position so that it can be reborn in the next life. During cremation, a decorated horse is led around the fire, which Masuo believe will help carry the deceased spirit away. Afterwards, friends and family gather to pay their last respects and wish the deceased an easy journey to their ancestral land. Dogs While some Asian cultures practice the custom of eating dogs, this is strictly forbidden to the Masuo. In Masuo culture, a myth describes that long ago, dogs had lifespans of 60 years while humans had lifespans of 13 years. Humans felt their lifespan was too short, so they traded it with the dogs in exchange for paying homage to them. Therefore, dogs are valued members of the family. They are never killed, and they most certainly are never eaten. During the initiation rites into adulthood, Masuo adolescents pray before the family dogs. 
Religion Religion is a major part of Masuo life. It is made up of two coexisting beliefs, their own syncretic faith called Daba and the influence of Tibetan Buddhism. Daba Daba has been a part of Masuo culture for thousands of years, handed down through generations by word of mouth. It functions as a repository of most of the Masuo culture and history. It is based on animistic principles and involves ancestor worship and the worship of a mother goddess. The Masuo are alone among their neighbors to have a guardian mother goddess rather than a patron warrior god. The primary tasks of the priest, or shaman, also called daba, are to perform exorcisms and assist deceased spirits. Priests drink alcohol until they go into a trance and can converse with these spirits. Since the Masuo have no written language, there is no religious script, nor is there a temple. All Daba priests are male, and they live in their mother's house with their brothers and sisters. When not pursuing their religious duties, they engage in everyday tasks such as fishing and herding. On a day to day basis, Daba plays a far smaller role in the lives of the Masuo. The Daba is mostly called on to perform traditional ceremonies at key events, such as naming a child, a child's coming-of-age ceremony, a funeral, or special events such as the Spring Festival. The Daba is also called on to perform specific rites if someone is sick. A cultural crisis is emerging. Due to past Chinese government policies, which made being a Daba priest illegal, this policy has now ceased. There are very few remaining Dabas, most of whom are old men. This leads some Masuo to worry that Masuo history and heritage may be lost when the current generation of Dabas are gone. Buddhism Buddhism has started to play a larger role in their culture in recent years. Today Tibetan-style Buddhism is the predominant religion, but it has been somewhat adapted to Masuo society. Like the Buddhist population of Tibet, both lay and monastic Buddhists among the Masuo eat meat. Masuo lamas offer prayers of thanks and prayers for the dead, offer basic religious and secular education to young children, and counsel adults. In families with more than one male child, one will most often be sent to be a monk, the Masuo even have their own. Living Buddha a man said to be a reincarnation of one of the great Tibetan spiritual leaders. He usually lives in Lijiang, but returns to the main Tibetan temple in Yangning for important spiritual holidays. Many Masuo families will send at least one male to be trained as a monk, and in recent years, the number of such monks has increased quite significantly. The current Masuo living Buddha died of old age in April 2011. In most Masuo homes, a statue of some Buddhist deity can be found above the cooking fire. The family will usually put a small portion of whatever they are cooking in the fire, as an offering to their deity. Tibetan Buddhist holidays and festivals are participated in by the entire Masuo community. Economy The Masuo are primarily farmers. Subsistence is mostly based on agriculture. Farmers work seven hours a day and seven months a year. In the past, they cultivated oats, buckwheat, and flax exclusively. This changed under Han influence at the end of the 19th century. Since then, these farmers have also cultivated, among other things, corn, sunflowers, soybeans, potatoes and other vegetables such as pumpkins and beans. Potatoes were their main staple for a while until the mid-20th century when they began growing rice, which today makes up more than half of annual production. In recent years, subsistence for some Masuo has shifted dramatically from agriculture due to a thriving tourist industry. Masuo also keep a variety of livestock. Since the early 20th century they have raised buffalo, cows, horses, and goats which originated from Han and Tibetan regions. However, their preferred stock is pigs. Pork plays several important roles in Masuo society. It is fed to guests, is the obligatory offering at funerals, and used as payment or reimbursement. Wa 2001 insists that it is a kind of currency and a symbol of wealth. Once a year, regions of Masuo males gather for a livestock fair. They travel for miles on buses, horses, or foot to attend. Here men sell and trade livestock to supplement household incomes. 
The Masuo fish on Lake Lugu and also set land-based fish traps, however, they do not use motorboats, and catching fish in open water using their very primitive gear is not easy. Language The Masuo speak Na aka Narua, a Nash language closely related to Nashi, a member of the Sino-Tibetan language family. Although there is no question that the language of the Masuo and that of the Nashi are closely related, some Masuo speakers resent the use of the language name Nashi, which is commonly used to refer to the dialect of the town of Lijiang and the surrounding villages. A more adequate name is Na, used in several linguistic publications. The name Narua is used in the Summer Institute of Linguistics Inventory of Languages, Ethnologue, 1, a collection of audio recordings is available online, and a trilingual glossary has also been posted online. Two book-length descriptions of the language are available, as well as several research articles. Script Generally, since Han Chinese occupation of the region, the Masuo today use Han script for daily communication. The Tibetan script is mainly used for religious purposes. The Masuo also have their own native religion, called Daba, which uses 32 symbols. They follow a primal belief system. However, the head ritual specialists of the Daba religion, who are called Daba, have advanced beyond the stage of spirit-possessed shamans, and also are in possession of a number of sacred texts. Therefore, these practitioners should be categorized as a type of priest. However, there are currently efforts underway to develop a written form of the Masuo language. Outside influence there have been many attempts to change Masuo culture throughout history. First, Han ideals, or the ethnic majority, were instituted in the Yongning region under the Ming dynasty. Next, Masuo accepted Buddhism into their culture and adapted it to fit their values. Neither the cultural revolution nor trade between different cultures fundamentally changed Masuo beliefs. Recently, however, Masuo society has been rapidly changing. Modernity with heightened technology, there are better roads and transportation. Young Masuo men and women use these modes to leave their villages and find employment in neighboring cities. Television has brought the ideas of the modern world and an image of a more affluent lifestyle. Also, men have begun to take jobs independent of the household and earn their own income. Older Masuo fear emerging property conflicts as a consequence. Care for the family, with younger children generations leaving the villages, is also a concern. Tourism Masuo living near Lugu Lake inhabit an aesthetically pleasing region. Photographers, television crews, writers, and artists are drawn to their homes. This increased attention has also brought tourists. Tourism is primarily domestic and typically occurs as a part of organized tour groups to view a culture that seems exotic. Tourism has influenced kinship and parenting practices, with Masuo residing in areas where tourism is prevalent being less likely to adhere to strict matrilineal norms. Films There are many documentaries made about the Masuo, in English and Mandarin, and there has even been a film festival dedicated to some of them. Most films perpetuate the myth that women run the society, some even claiming that men have no say in political or household matters and do not work. Without Fathers or Husbands 1995, 26 Minutes, Royal Anthropological Institute. Made by Chinese-born, French-educated anthropologist Kai Hua. It does not make claims about matriarchy. A World Without Fathers and Husbands Eric Blavier, 2000, 52 minutes. The Ladies of the Lake, a Matriarchal Society. 20 minutes. Moso, the Land of Free Love, the Last Matriarchy, 2006, 50 minutes. Moso, the Land of Free Love, Walking Marriage, 2006, 50 minutes. Kingdom of Women, the Matriarchal Masuo of China, 2007, 54 minutes. Frontline World, The Women's Kingdom. July 19, 2005, 9 minutes. 
Frontline World, Stories from a Small Planet. June 27, 2006, 9 minutes. Masuo Song Journey, by Daidi Wang and Carol Bliss, 2007, 37 minutes. Kingdom of Women, A Reflection of a Matriarchal Society on Lugu Lake, 58 minutes. Taboo, Sex. National Geographic Channel, 2008. The Masuo Sisters, 2012, 80 minutes. A Tale of Two Sisters Living in the Shadow of Two Chinas directed by Marlo Porras. Free Love. National Geographic Channel, 2008. The Fall of Womenland. Director, Shouten He, 2009. The Land Where Women Rule, Inside China's Last Matriarchy. Broadly Staff. 2016. Broadly. October, 2016. See also Masua Women Nashi People Matriarchy Matrilineality Matrilocal Residence Sambandam Ketu Kalyanam Yang or Shay Namu, a notable Chinese writer, singer and TV star of Masuo ethnicity list of ethnic groups in China list of matrilineal or matrilocal societies divorce Chinese marriage Tibetan Buddhism Lugu Lake Patrilineal Bibliography Barber, Nigel, Chinese tribe without marriage points to future Huffington Post January 2014. Huffington Post, October 2016. Dashi, Latami, editor. Mo Suo Shi Wei Wen Wa Yan Ju Lun Wen Ji 1960-2005, Yun Nan Da Zai Chu Ban Shi Zhu Bian Latami Da Shi Gong, Binglin, Hubin Yan, and Chun Lei Yang. Gender Differences in the Dictator Experiment, Evidence from the Matrilineal Masuo and the Patriarchal Yi, SSRN Electronic Journal, 2010, 1-25. Webb, 25 October 2016. Hammond, Rayan R., and Braun B. Inglesby, editors. Mate Selection, Across Cultures, Sage Publications, Thousand Oaks, California, 2003. Wa, Kai. A Society Without Fathers or Husbands, The Na of China, New York, Zone Books, 2001. Wa Kai, Une Societe Sans Per Ni Mari, Les Nashi de Chine, Presses Universitaires de France, 2001. Hammond, Rayanne R., and Braun B. Inglesby, editors. Mate Selection, Across Cultures, Sage Publications, Thousand Oaks, California, 2003. Mattison, S. M., Skelza, B., and Blumenfield, T., 2014. Paternal Investment and the Positive Effects of Fathers Among the Matrilineal Masuo of Southwest China. American Anthropologist, 116-3, 591-610. Madison, S. M. 2010. Economic Impacts of Tourism and Erosion of the Visiting System Among the Masuo of Lugu Lake. The Asia-Pacific Journal of Anthropology, 11, 159-176. Madison, Siobhan M., Brooke Skelza, and Tammy Blumenfield. Paternal Investment and the Positive Effects of Fathers Among the Matrilineal Masuo of Southwest China, American Anthropologist 116.3, 2014, 591-610. Webb, 24 October 2016. Matriarchal, Matrilineal Culture, Matriarchal, Matrilineal Culture. Lugu Lake Masuo Cultural Development Association, 2006. Webb, 25 October 2016. Madison, Siobhan, 2010. Economic Impacts of Tourism and Erosion of the Visiting System Among the Masuo of Lugu Lake. The Asia-Pacific Journal of Anthropology, 11-2, 159-176. Namu, Yang Urshe, and Christine Mathieu. Leaving Mother Lake, A Girlhood at the Edge of the World, Little, Brown, Boston, 2003, ISBN 0-316-12471-0, ISBN 978-0-316-12471-3 Roland J. Hardenberg. Die Moso, China, I'm Interkulturell und Bergleich, Moglichkeiten und Grenzen des Komparativen Ansatzes in der Ethnologie. In Paideuma, Vol. 54, 2008, p. 109-127. ISSN 0078-7809. Shi, Chuan Kong. Quest for Harmony, The Moso Traditions of Sexual Union and Family Life. Stanford, 2010. Stacy, Judith. Unhitched, Love, Sex, and Family Values from West Hollywood to Western China. New York, New York University Press, 2011.
ISBN 978-0-8147-8382-5, ISBN 0-8147-8382-1, ISBN 978-0-8147-8383-2, ISBN 0-8147-8383-X Stockard, Janice E. Marriage and Culture, Practice and Meaning Across Diverse Societies, Wadsworth and Thompson Learning, Belmont, 2002. Ward, Martha, and Monica Edenstein. A World Full of Women, Pearson, Boston, 2009. Wai Hong, Chu. The Kingdom of Women, Life, Love and Death in China's Hidden Mountains. I. B. Tories, London, 2017, ISBN 978-1-7845-3724-1, ISBN 1-7845-3724-1. Shu Duoduo, 2015. A Comparison of the 28 Lunar Mansions Between Dabaism and Dongbism. Archaeoastronomy and Ancient Technologies, 3, 2 61 Links, 1. Academia.edu, 2. Archaeoastronomy and Ancient Technologies. Shu Duoduo, 2017. From Daba Script to Dongba Script A Diachronic Exploration of the History of Moso Pictographic Writings. Libelarium, Journal for the Research of Writing, Books, and Cultural Heritage Institutions, X, 121-47, Links, 1. Libelarium, 2. Academia.edu. Yuan, Lu. Land of the Walking Marriages. Natural History. Ed. Sam Mitchell. N. P. N. P. N. D. 57-65. Print. References. External links Website for the Lugu Lake Masuo Cultural Development Association This website is no longer active and is being used by someone to sell items not associated with the Masuo. Girls Kingdom, via Archive. Or The Masuo Pictures of Masuo in Buddhist Prayers Kingdom of Daughters Five successful societies run by women.